Hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk, where I talk about topics relating to finance and investing, but more specifically, the stock market. In this video, I'll be giving you an update on my ground floor portfolio. If you guys aren't sure what ground floor is, ground floor is an investment platform that allows you to provide loans for local people who's interested in real estate, maybe renovating, or most of the time it's renovating houses. These are like regular people like me and you. So if they need a short-term loan, Ground Floor provides it for them. But before we get started, make sure you smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps you to know that this is quality content and help my research reach a broader audience. Now, here's the thing about Ground Floor. Like I said, this video is mainly to update, give you an update to, so you guys can see um, how my account is doing. If you want to see previous updates, check the suggested videos. But if you want to see a full in-depth video of what Ground Floor is, Make sure you check my suggested videos. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are interested in Ground Floor, creating an account with Ground Floor, right now they have a special where if you sign up through my affiliate link down in the description below, invest $100, we both get $50. So to me, that's kind of particularly sweet if you like the platform. But let's jump into my investing, my Ground Floor investing portfolio. And by the way, guys, I'll try to be completely honest about what I think about this particular platform. So as you can see, my portfolio history, cash on hand, $4.27. Money at work, $1,620. I try to always have my money at work. And I'll tell you guys later a feature where they have auto investing, where they constantly look for loans, and then they automatically invest your money once you get a particular interest from it. Performance summary for the LRO investments, 41 loans. Invested $1,620, expected rate 10.3%. Um, by the way, I'm probably going to actually reach out to Ground Floor about it because this can be very misleading. I've covered it in several of my other videos, and I'll explain later when you when we look into a little bit deeper. For my LR overpayments, we had 32 loans, 1900 For this is the amount that's invested, 1000 that was invested $1,190, expected rate 9.6, actual rate 10.1. So this is for the money at work. This is what I'm projected. Amount invested $1,620, expected earnings $134.92. Now, as you can see up here, it says expected 10.3, but this is why I wanted to talk to um, Ground Floor about it. But when you actually do the math here, the percentage is drastically different. Uh, 134 divided by 1620 and percent. So that'd be 8.27% based off of here and the expected rate. Now I talked about this before. A lot of times people pay off the loan uh, much shorter. So this doesn't actually translate to the expected rate. So I would like it as I'm going to try to talk to them is they can give you an actual return based off of the duration that people have the loan. So if the loan was for 12 months and they paid two months, I would like them to have an adjusted return. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible for them, but I think it's definitely misleading when you see expected rate 10%. But then when you look at the actual expected earnings for the invested amount, it's kind of much lower. Um, similar for their repayment. Uh, this is what actually I actually received. This is what's projected. So for the LRO repayment, um, the amount invested $1,190, net earnings $64.24. I believe I did the math on that. And that was kind of much lower than I expected. That was about, I went to a yield of maybe about 5 or 6%. Let me do the math right now, 64 Point two seven divided by 1,190%, so about 5.4%. Now, once again, yes, a lot of times they paid off the loans early and stuff like that, which could definitely mess up the returns, but I definitely think I'm misleading, and I like to be kind of honest um, with this particular platform. A lot of times, I told people before, I would like to get closer to a 10% return. So that's why I only do C, the grade C loans, which is closer to the 10%. Let me, let me show you guys when I hit invest. 
And by the way, I'll probably, I have this on auto invest, so it's constantly investing my money. Um, and I'll show you guys that a little later. So let me scroll down. By the way, they have ground floor notes, but they have a set particular rate. But honestly, I'm going to um, tell you guys, I would not particularly do this because <laughs> I just did a video where they has I bonds where they can give you 9.62% in a year risk-free by the federal government. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you check the suggested videos. It's mainly because of inflation, they'll kind of particularly match that. But so make sure you check that suggested videos. I'm just spilling it to you just a little bit, keeping it honest. All right, so let's scroll down. And as you can see, a lot of the B loans are 7.5 or 8.5%. Like I said, as far as the loans, this loan is said 7.5%, but it's only 1.2 months. So that's probably not, that's not even going to be a whole percent. See how some of these loans are, this rate is for 12 months, but look how a lot of the remaining loans is 1.2 months, 1.4. So the year actual returns is much lower. And as far as they do reinvest, but another loan has to be available. So if there's all short particular loans, there might not be a longer one available. I'll, I haven't did the auto invest a long, for a long time, but I'll see as long as I do the auto invest. And I'll probably also talk to ground floor to how to maximize the particular returns. But now I do have it on auto invest and I'll show you guys how did I get that. So scroll down. As you can see, the tenth, the type grade C is most of the time over 10%, 11%. That's why I kind of stick with the grade C. Grade Ds, uh, I don't really mess with that because um, as far as the low, I mean, the lower the number, the lower the letter is, the more risky it will be. So I just kind of stick with C. Like I said, my goal is to get that, get it up to 10 or 11%. That is my particular goal. Now let's see the LOR investments. And this is just to show you how many was defaulted. Only one extended 16 and performing 24. 44% um, of the portfolio has been extended. 51 is currently performing. So these are the um, rates, expected rates. And I, like I said, I definitely would like to talk to um, ground floor about that. And it says bonus interest rates are not included, stuff like that. But like I said, I definitely would like to talk to ground floor about that. Now, so this is where you can, and by the way, if you go to LOR investments, this is where you can see a little bit um, where all your particular loans is, um, loans that you provided, the street name, for example, if you want to click on it and tell you more information about it. So, and let's go to the repayment part. That's definitely um, an important part where you can see all the breakdown of everything here. And this is, to me, where you can actually see the, like, the real deal. For example, um, this one, the rate was 10%, but the duration of the loan was only, um, the term was six months, and this one it was, the actual term was about 5.9 months. So which means that this was kind of half of that. Yeah, so it was more 5%. So this is actually where I think the best case for you to know your real returns. So all you can do, take the repayment rate over the investment rate, and that will give you a much better idea. So if you guys want to kind of know what your real returns for, you can take the interest that you end up getting because the initial investment was $10. So for the repayment amount, that would be $0.49 cents for interest over the initial one. So point. 49 cents divided by $10. And then what you would end up doing is multiplying that by 100 to turn it to a percent. And you get 4.9%. Just to give you an idea of your real returns. But according to ground floor, they have the expected rate and actual rate. So I would like it where they have the actual returns based off of the repayment amount. I'm definitely going to talk to ground floor about it. The same way for here, it says 12 months. This was 4.8 months. So like I said, this would definitely be less than 5%. And this is where I have $200 in. Now, as you can see, they also have auto invest where they kind of reinvest your money as soon as new loans become available. Um, if you just go to investment account, investment settings, what you can do is we can scroll down to um, 
right here where it says auto invest. Right now I have that on. So because I have that on, it should be putting my money to work as new loans come in. And hopefully I'm hoping that that can at least get my returns up to 8%. And as you can see, this one right here, it says investing, max investing per loan. I put $200, but I probably should have put a much lower number simply because I don't have that much. And can $200 compared to like $1,600 is a good particular amount. So I'm probably actually going to change this to maybe like $150. And by the way, if you see that five, that $4.27 um, was invested, that's because the minimum uh, of the to make the loans ten dollars so that's pretty much why that's just kind of sitting there we have the update so they have it where you can set the max amount you want per loan of course and then like i said they'll kind of show you how that particular work let me hit update and i believe that is it but that concludes this video if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button if you need to subscribe